Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Jo Roth is joining us live right now at 532 from D.C. And S.J., lawmakers are actually using real patients to sell these ideas, right? Monica, a panel of five patients shared their stories of struggling to keep up with their medical costs to a key Senate panel today. They're urging lawmakers to bring that relief. I don't want to, you know, deplete a life savings because the artificially inflated price of, of drugs. For Sheldon Armis, this is quickly becoming his reality. After a quadruple cardiac bypass operation and a diagnosis of diabetes, he takes seven different medications to survive. I know that in some ways it's going to limit my lifestyle. Okay, um, I just live on Social Security. Armis is not alone. Studies show nearly one in four Americans struggle to pay for their prescriptions. Your stories are heartbreaking. The stories of my constituents across New York are heartbreaking. And there's no end in sight. And so far this year, the prices of more than 250 prescription drugs have jumped an average of 6%. You just don't get the price increases. You just It doesn't make any sense to you why the prices will go up like this. Senator Rick Scott and other lawmakers are considering a variety of legislative remedies, like requiring drug makers to set prices no higher than they are in other countries, or capping out-of-pocket costs for Medicare beneficiaries taking brand-name drugs. Some looking to combat competitive practices used by some brand-name companies to edge out lower-cost generic drugs. And last month, the Trump administration proposed eliminating rebates from certain Medicare and Medicaid programs. I think it's all these things we've got to put on the table and figure out the things that, that actually help a consumer. That's what, I'm care, what I care about is how do I help the people to talk today? How do I make their lives better? For now, patients like Sheldon Armis say they'll continue to share their stories. Very grateful just to be able to contribute some small amount, you know, to this, uh, to this problem. And I hope we will make a small change in the future. Now, this same Senate committee will convene tomorrow. This time, they'll hear from an array of health policy experts. We're live this evening on Capitol Hill. Samantha Jaroth, Spectrum, Bay News 9.